Hello everyone, it's Laurie again from Scrap Mums Musings, and I want to share with you my most recent mini, and this is going out to Teresa for a uh, mini album swap. Um, so anyways, our theme was spring, and these are chipboard letters that I sanded, and then I inked them with just some brown ink. Um, and this, is, I think, is a Prima flower. And this is a handmade flower that I received in a previous swap. And these are an older Prima flower, this pink one and this one. And uh, three-dimensional butterfly. I uh, picked this up at Joanne's. And this is a... It's not a cane company. Oh my gosh, I can't remember. I can't remember. And, um, this is a border. These are all, um, Kane Company. Oh, what is the line? Mm -hmm. Oh, I got it right here. Kane Company, Susan Wingett. Wingett something like that. So, it's a bunch of die cuts that go with her paper line. So, that's what I use there. And, sorted ribbons and fibers. I always seem to make my books very bulky. And the first page, I, it's a pocket. And I cut out a rose, and I did, I don't know if you can see it, but I did like dew drops with some dimensional glaze. And here are the tags. And for some journaling. And this was a die cut. Um, a clear one that came with that and I just put it on there for a border and this is a pocket page kind of this is a um, lace border that I cut from a, another sheet of paper and covered it with some lace trim and tag right there for photos and journaling and this is a transparency that I put and this is a working she could put a photo in there and then journal on the back. And that just slides right into the pocket. And on this page, the paper, it's one of those lacy papers. I cannot think, um, I want to say paper company. Did the background and again I used another transparency. Made a pocket. Stick a photo in there. A little journaling spot. And over here, pocket page. I do have a lot of pocket pages with butterflies from that paper line. This nest was from that paper line, and I did a uh, dimensional glaze on the um, eggs. And this was just one of those papers. This is Seven Gypsies paper. And I just fold it in half because I like it because there was lines on the other side for journaling. And... Again, Seven Gypsies paper. I love this paper too. Yeah. Oh. So I used a lot of Seven Gypsies paper and um, assortment of, of scrap paper that matched it. And here's a homemade flower, handmade flower that I received from a swap. And it's really pretty. And Tim Holtz Adage stamp, I think, says Wish. I cut out leaves from that Susan Wingett line and I just embossed, uh, didn't emboss them, um, folded them, inked them. Just a simple frame. And this is a, another die cut that I added some flowers to. Simple page, very simple photo mat over here. Using the Seven Gypsies paper and a scrap of, I think this is Quick Quotes, the brown underneath. And did a trim some Prima roses. Did that. Another pocket page, and this is a transparency with like a grid effect. And the die cuts again just to dress it up. Ribbon trim. And this is a five inch square photo mat. And another pocket page. This is more of a 
I put this on some chipboard so it'll kind of stick out more. And more tags and these actually lift up so she could tuck a photo underneath. Those lift up. And this is a cane company tag. And I covered this side of the tag with um, paper. Um, yeah, I think that's uh, Seven Gypsies paper. I love this. I love this bird. So I just kind of kept it as is. And I created a library pocket right here. Stuck a tag in there. Very simple. And behind that, it's a pocket with another tag. Very simple. And that slides in there. And over here is like a gatefold. So you move this photo turn and this opens for journaling and this is a very large photo mat where you can put more than one photo and journaling and it just folds the other side like so okay over here another pocket page and this is a making memories uh, ribbon holder and I did some ribbon added some bling up on the top here. This is a Kane Company border strip right here and I added bling, quick quotes, background paper. Um, photo mat with... Yeah. This is just a scrap of paper. I couldn't tell you who made that. Journaling. This that one. And this one I covered the top of a paper clip with, again, the Susan Winget die cut. Added a butterfly. And then you open this up like so. Opens this way. Oh, this sticking. Then up. And then down. And right here is a nest with two tiny little tags to stick in there for so lots of room there for photos and journaling and there we go I'm trying to do all this one handed here okay so this is that page in this page I did A fence, simple wooden fence, and decorated this with a bunch of flowers with button centers to make it look like a bunch of flowers growing at the side of the fence. And I used to, I the paper had these big leaves, and I didn't want to leave it, so I added a big flower.